come on, let me see it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop <laughs> it. Griffin? Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, I know things have been really hard for you since your parents passed away. But you know we're all there for you anytime, right? Yes. Hey. Oh, Griffin. Me and my sister were the only black kids in my elementary school. And when she graduated, I was so scared. I wanted to take my teddy bear to school with me every day. And my mom said that that would only make things worse. So instead, you know what I did? The first time the mean girls came up to me, I pictured a giant bear behind them like this. You know, you're good at comics and stuff. Maybe a secret sidekick could help you too. Come on, let's get you cleaned up. There goes my rescue plan. So you need the jaws of life. But when you shred it, you tangle shoestrings. Why did you just blow up? You're late. I might care if you were here to actually buy something. Cooperman, you are like ungodly good at this. I suck at this, just like everything else. It's a superior craftsmanship, my tool. Can you quit sucking so masterfully? Probably not. Take pity on the less endowed? You know I never touch another man's disc.
And let's go bowling then. Maybe you feel differently about playing with balls. Speaking of nuts, watch this. Ninja Boy will feel it breeze by his back and I'll still hit the cannon. Whoops. Are you mad? You've just shit stirred a black belt? And as hard? Worry not. Troy Frizzle's a blowhard. I believe this belongs to you, Cooperman? Oh, thanks, Troy, for being a good... Is this not the exact same shit puck that hit me back in high school? This is a near miss. I knew that was you. Must have some kind of special meaning to you. They held on to it all this time. Vicious wind bends the willow. Well, what if your little precious got hung from the top of that tree? Well? Well? <laughs> Well, then I'd have to smite you and your weaselly minions. Cry? Ah, oh, come on. Let that be a lesson to you. That was definitely nuts. What an arse hair. Not much has changed since high school. I need my blow dryer back. Sure. Oh, and I also need you to record me for Too Many Fish. I think the internet is ready for this. I gotta go to work. Griffin, it'll take five minutes. Typeface. He fought Spider-Man with giant letters. And one? I have three words for you. Armless Tiger Man. Goody two shoes. Oh, Rainbow Rider. It's a no-brainer. You guys are trying to figure out the lamest supervillain ever. It's Mr. Freeze, Schwarzenegger version. Oh, well, tell me you're going to enter that. If I was you, I would totally go for that. You should be thankful you are not me. Coop, that new deck you designed is like lethal. Given today's gaming environment, I'd say you have a 72% propensity for a favorable outcome. Nice try, JT. It's 87% actually. What's up, wankers? Hey. Nice spill on the way to work today, Coop. You saw that? Mm hmm. Thanks for helping out. Mm, I was busy. Busy handling wiener? Busy procuring this. Oh, it's Chinese. The Korean ones have value. What do you get for the man who has everything? Yet still has nothing. 
Sandwiches. You can never go wrong with sandwiches. Relax. You're all safe. No black belt. No shit, Puck. No store. That's right. According to your lease, I can evict you now. You can evict me? Yeah. Dear old dad finally got shipped off to the old nursing home. I'm in charge of all frizzle business from here on in. Shizzle. You're the new landlord. Yeah. Iconic, isn't it? Uh, I think it means ironic. Uh, metal has nothing to do with this. Dad may I let you slide on a regular basis, but those days are over. I'm in charge now. You owe for three months, Cooperman. And according to the fine print, I gotta give you a week to come up with it. So consider yourself served. I need more time. Resourceful serpent silences displeasing sloth. <laughs> See ya, Cooperman. Did you really just do that? Uh, that's just gleek on your face, not tears, right? Yeah. Sausage ladies? Man, what's with gleeking anyway? Spitting on someone's like totally socially unacceptable. But with its thin stream and little speckles, gleek coasts right under the radar. Troy figured that out in high school. Gleeked the shit out of me on the bus. It wasn't even the girls laughing that bothered me. It was that Troy Frizzle had found out my kryptonite. Gleeking's your kryptonite? Yeah. Oh. Mine's slugs. Slow, harmless, Slugs? Uh, yeah, they just totally freak me out, okay? Mm. Anyway, the solution to your problem's obvious. Can't believe how easy it is. Okay. The Jarb Tournament. It's 5,000 bucks, man. You can pay off Troy and still have some left over for yourself. Get yourself an apartment and get out of that weird doing favors for rent thing you've got going on. I don't know. Aw, oh, come on. You gotta leave this town someday. It's only going to Dartmouth. Maybe I can get more time. Fine. Well, then do something to promote the store. Make some signs, drum up some business. The guys and I had help. You don't think I've thought of that? I've been doing this for eight years. This is the business. The only reason it works is because Miss Harris doesn't charge rent, and old man Frizzle forgot half the time. I'm Christopher Robin. What? My best friend is Eeyore. First, Christopher Robin's best friend. Winnie the Pooh. Second, you're Rabbit. Rabbit? Rabbit was a bossy jerk. Anyway, my business is calling. Rabbit. Very obviously Rue. Is that all you got? Come on! Fiercer! Deadlier! I want to see you mean! Show me mean! Ah, oh, it's pathetic! Sit down! It's a good thing your mom's so hot. Who's next? Trying to sneak up in the old Troy Minator, are you? No, I, I just wanted to talk. Manging Bear comes begging for scraps. Spit it out, Cooperman. I have no secrets from my disciples. As you surmised, I've come to beg for more time. Nonsense! You've got one week! Till the axe drops forever. However, 
If you care to make a wager, perhaps we can come up with an arrangement. Like what exactly? Iron Palms defies the laws of nature with his will and his skill. Block! Get Cooperman one board. Surely to God, Cooperman, if I can break five boards, you can do a measly little one. I don't know about that. If you break that board, I'll wave your back rent. Easy breezy. I don't think I can do it. You see that, my children? Without my teachings, fear will cloud your mind, and you'll end up a sluggish coward with no prospects. Come on, you got this, Coop. It's only pine. Even little girls can break one board. Seven days, Cooperman. Find the money or the store is no more. You tried. Huh. Hey, saving something worthwhile is never easy. Spare me. Are you talking to yourself again? Must be the fumes. And I'm supposed to be the demented one. And sometimes the answers you seek lie right before your eyes. Mr. Cooperman, come in. Welcome. Dr. Craig, please have a seat. Thank you for coming. I'm sure you'll find this to be a stimulating and rewarding experience. And hey? <laughs> yes, it will be lucrative as well. You will be paid, I can assure you, after the tests have been completed. Now, let's get started, shall we? I trust you're not semantrophobic. Fear of bells. Now, I'm going to show you a series of images. I'd like you to use the bells to rate them. Please, be honest. Okay. And know that all the information you share here is strictly confidential. Ready? Sure. Good. Disgusting an option? Choose from the bells. Please. Does a rousing rage count? Hmm. Hey, Coop! What do you think? 
Who's watching the store? Wanking injury? It's just so big. Cool, huh? Is this my shirt? 100% pre-loved cotton, buddy. Iron the logo on to promote the store. I'm flattered, yet slightly perturbed that you went through my dirty laundry. And you are welcome. What's this? My underwear? Mm, well, you'll probably never have to find out. Don't be so sure. Maybe just put it in the vault. Trouble on the surface. Where's the cards? I tried to stop them. Gee, that sucks. Illegally parking a vending card on a public thoroughfare and disturbing the peace? I guess somebody must have reported you. Probably a hefty little fine, too. And yeah. Five days, Cooperman. That Cretan, messing with a man's livelihood. We can't lose the store. I'm too fragile for real life. We're not losing the store. No oh, gouge. I need to get the car back. Cooperman's losing it. Yeah, that's right. You'll just have to find someplace else to spend 15 hours a day, every day except for Christmas. Okay, I'm losing it now. I just need more time. We need to destroy Troy. Okay, a bit harsh, but I'm listening. Well, I've got it. Donate blood. $2,500 worth of blood. Well, who said it had to be ours? Okay, no. What about an escape pod? When Superman's world was falling apart, they used an escape pod to escape. So your solution, JT, is that I shoot myself into space? Hello, this isn't Krypton. I was talking more like identity theft. Well, I hear Brazil is nice. You know, lots of Brazilians. Troy's identity? Okay. Impersonating Troy Frizzle is where I draw the line. We could tie him up in the storeroom for a month or two. He could donate the blood. Okay, I also draw the line at any other felony. Listen, five days is not enough time to get that cart out of the impound, let alone pay the back rent on the store. Thanks, Celine. You really put it all in perspective. Well, we can't just bow to Troy's demand. I still like the bloodletting idea. He must have some kind of weakness we can prey upon. Everyone has their kryptonite. We need to find out Troy's, and fast. Oh, thanks, Griffin. You're a real pal. Do you need a drink? Almost. So that should get me to February? December. Be grateful I didn't ask you for a new vibrator. Would that get me to February? Why didn't you just text? I'm getting into character. Are you scared? I filled my diaper. I'm gonna go avenge the cart. Come on, go get your body armor on. What do you have in mind? Just relax. I'll do all the law breaking. Just need you on lookout. Okay. Remember when I had that job as a janitor in the vet lab? Skunk glands. Just do it and let's go. Hey, 
another room? That cheating bastard prick. Well, the alarm would be off now. Let's out him online first. That's not yoga. Is he? He is. He isn't. <laughs> he is. He isn't. He is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yeah. oh my god, but just don't stop, don't stop. Oh my god. Oh, this is the best revenge ever. Oh, Hummer fail. Okay. Crazy. I mean, everybody figures out that that's impossible in like grade seven. was scary as hell at first. Getting started was the kicker. I stood on the edge of that cliff for a long time before I got up the nards. But after a while, you just get so sick of disappointing yourself and everyone else. I mean, who doesn't want to fly, right? You just gotta go for it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I believe Hummer Fail only has 31 hits. I can. It's a saturated market. You're Dutch. Search Hummer Win and Dolphin joins in. JT, you're not allowed to use the computer here anymore. Jarab. Why do we even try? It's his new deck. Unbeatable. I mean, this thing is so shaky and bloody, you can't even tell it's Troy. Oh yeah, I know. Blackmail oh fail. You guys are lucky he's not blackmailing you. It sounds like you're having sex. JT! I know it's in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. It'll just take me a second to plug it in. Slight midorthophobia. What's that? Fear of an erect joystick. It's nothing to be ashamed of. You'd be surprised at how many people suffer from it. Now, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. Using the controller, please respond either yes or no. Excellent. Let's get started. <clears throat> Is your name Griffin Cooperman? Good. Do you live on the planet Uranus? Oh. The computer seems to be having some trouble registering your answers. Would you mind holding down the shaft a little longer? Sure. Do you enjoy ponies? Are you all right? Oh, perfect, thank you. Let's continue. It's stuck. Leave it. Mm. 
Really? You're just gonna sit here and watch? Oh, oh okay, that's it. Oh. I need to get paid. Oh, God, yes. Hello? Uh, Mr. Cooperman, thank you for your time. Uh, I have a, another appointment to get to, and, uh, but I have your address. Uh, don't call us, we'll call you. What are you doing in my office? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Jarb. And welcome back to the Book of Jarb, where we are deep in the midst of a pre-championship deck shuffle. That's right. Last chance to stuff your packs to get set up for Dartmouth. And please tell me there is someone out there who can unseat the three-time Grand Champion Rudiger. Seriously, the guy's head is fatter than his Jarb deck. Take a look at what the man we love to hate posted last night. So, have you guys been reviewing the tapes yet? I would if I were you. It might help you a bit. Might add a bit more challenge for me. I decided not to reformulate my deck this year. It's perfect, so I don't need to. It's not just how you, how you stack, stack the cards. cards. It's also, also how you gouge, how you by the way. If somebody can't bring something better to Dartmouth this year, I have to move on to something a bit more challenging. Ugh. See it, the Grand Champs losers, Jajarb. He's using last year's deck at the championships. How cocky is that? Well, maybe it's just a hoax. I think he's leading us to think that way to throw us off. Uh, I wouldn't put it past him, you know. He did surprise us all last year with all those mice and thread spools. So, worst case scenario is he'll retire after this year. No way. You know what? The only way he's going to vanquish the throne is if he gets gouged out. Stool sample, Randy. Shit in the friggin' cup now. Your appointment's in like 20 minutes. Mom, this is a live webcast. So? Seriously? You're asking me. It's a big investment. It helps to have it outside eye. Don't you have a sister or aunt or gay friend you could ask about this? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, there goes your calendar alert again, Coop. So? Your ass looks like a chocolate cake that I want to eat. I like the black ones better? I like french fries and video games and when hot yoga lets out. Well, let's go. Fine. What's the big deal anyway? You got like three holy shirts. Now you got your panties and a bunch over a pair of jeans. Shouldn't you be getting the card out of the pound? Eh, yeah, losing the card made me realize I should get up off my chocolatey chicken ass and actually try something for once, you know? I'm doing stand-up at Open Mic this week. Really? Really. Those make you look taller. Cooperman, you want to go fight some crime or something? We could jump over a tall building. Ah, we could x-ray vision some panties. Save a kitten from a tree. Uh, anything would be more fun than sidekicking this shit. Hey, Canadian tuxedo. What's up? Yeah. Not much, eh? Uh, yeah. So, wanna go for a fly? Hey, Coop! 
You want to go for a zip over town? Hey, buddy. Busy. Uh, that's it. I've had it. Cooperman, I don't think I can be your sidekick anymore. Your only superpower is to bore people to death. You're back up and running. Mm. Computers. Gonna be the death of me. Mm. Be a dear and have a look under that sink before you go, would you? The thing is leaking worse than I am. Hello, Enid. How are you today, dear? You're late. Sorry, my laptop was acting up. Oh, enough of the chit chat. Talk foodie to me. You'll never guess what I had for breakfast. Oh, tell me. Eggs. Real ones. Oh. Pan fried in real butter. Oh. And guess what I had with my eggs? Oh, please say bacon. No. Thick cut. Hickory smoked bacon. Oh. Here, I'll show you some pictures. Oh. 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 Time to go look out the window. Get! Bacon's one of your main turn ons, too. Why don't you try the adjustable? Oh, that's just my roommate. Your tenant. Mm, what did he have for breakfast? I'm not sure. He's just a tenant. Maybe he'd eat an apple for us. I bet he won't. You got that right. I'll bet. You can't figure out Troy's kryptonite. Oh, oh be careful, dear. What's going on down there? Sounds, uh, interesting. Oh, he's just, uh, fixing my plumbing and a few other such favors. In return for lodging. A sugar cube. Turn the screen so I can see him. Your sink's fixed, you weirdo. Thank you, darling. Drats. I missed him. So... What are you having for lunch? Plus, how the economy is these days, you can never go wrong with real estate. Yeah, you just let me know if you want to take a look. And remember, I am Troy Frizzle. I can help you break <laughs> into the market. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, bye for now. Here to pay up, Coop? Yeah. Are you? No, no. I didn't think so. If you came to grovel for more time, you can forget about it. No, I respect the parameters of our lease agreement. Yes, you do. I just thought, a uh, man of action like yourself, who craves adventure, like you would want to raise the stakes. The stakes, eh? Why use paper when we can settle this man to man? Are you suggesting hand to hand combat? Because I know all the death points. Oh, Troy, I'd, I'd be a fool to fight you. You'd mop the floor with me. That's right. You don't mess with a physique like this. Besides, I got six knives hidden on my person at all times. Two when I'm naked. No, I was thinking like a wager. A wager? Yeah, take it to the course. Beat me at my own game. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Take it or leave it. Okay, so if I win, the debt's waived. And I get 2,500 credit? No, 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 no. You are the nothing. If you win, your debt's waived. That's it. But when I win, 
You'll owe me double. That's 5,000 bucks to save your stupid little store. Same time frame. That is a really shitty deal. I don't have a choice. Think he changed his mind? Don't worry, they'll show up. Ready to lose, losers? I see you brought a couple of cases with you. And some gear as well. Never hurts to be prepared. Speaking of which, we'll need a referee. I'll do it. Not so fast. Paper, rock, scissors for it. Begin. Sorry, Coop. Scissors? Since when do martial arts types choose paper? I'm sorry. In the spirit of good competition, Cooperman, I'll let you have the first shot. Binox. Driver. Eighteenth hole, Coop. I can taste the victory. I can't see it. Uh, nor can I. 
You guys uh, see anything down there? I'd like to get this killing over with. Here it is. All bent to shit. Wonder how that happened. Get real, Cooper, man. Just borrow one of his. That one was never really lucky anyway. It was always you. Believe. Don't shit the bed now. Nice. Little skunk accepts his fate. Free throw! Interference, ref! Your teacher gleaked on me! Oh. Oh. I don't see anything. Oh, come on. Yeah! yeah. Yeah! Just, 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 yeah! Let's grab the gear. That's $5,000, Cooperman. Just try to save your stupid little store now. Superman, time to grow some balls. Oh wait, you cannot because I have them. And now I will bust them. God damn, useless, cheap. Dollar store, Christmas lights, no good for you. Oh, where was I? Oh yes, I have a better idea. Hasta la vista, babies. Guess I'm ready for that now. Are you kidding? You're nowhere near rock bottom yet. I'm about to lose the only thing in my life that gives it any meaning. Ooh, look at me, I'm free falling towards devastation. This is fun. Talking peewee doll. That was a talking peewee doll. It must be worth a fortune. $68, 41 cents. That's it? Hmm. You got some pretty rare stuff in there. You should just sell it. Customer has to prove themselves worthy of the treasures of the vault. Worthy. Worthy. Such as having the power to see through steel doors. So you're telling me that if somebody wants to buy something, it can make you good money, and you need money, you still won't sell it to them unless they meet your rigorous standards of geekdom. Yeah. What about them? Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Need it. Bazinga! I see that same tired shit five times a day. What about the guys? JT was Kevin Smith's dental hygienist. That's gotta count for something. Once, 
supposedly. JT with a dental hygienist. Imagine paying him money to come to your mouth. No. Besides, whether or not he was, all he does now is mooch off his mom and watch Sailor Moon reruns. <laughs> eBay. You can't judge worthiness online. Thank God for that. Would you sell your firstborn to a stranger who may not even like kids? You gotta earn that gold. Besides, I need $5,000, not $684.13. Weird. What? Well, I just totally respect that. I think you're crazy at the same time. Who knew running a comic book store would be so morally exhausting? Almost up, Cooper men. What is the point of trying? You cannot escape me! $5,000, or the store's toast. Eight years of my life down the shitter. The only thing I've ever really accomplished. <sighs> the only job I've ever held down where I didn't want to slip my own wrists or choke the boss. Actually, I still ponder those. Well, usually when I ask you what's new, you say baby farts. Oh, sorry, I've been filing the same corn since I got here. It's all right. Can't feel anything from the waist down anyway. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. There's nothing I can do. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You can't keep all this stress bottled up, Griffin. You're heart attack material as it is. So, why didn't you tell me sooner? I didn't want to bother you. Bother me? Keep me in the dark and feed me bullshit? What am I, a mushroom? So, what do you think? I think he's a munch tard. But your hiney isn't quite licked yet. You free tomorrow? Well... You're free. Be here at nine if you want to make some real money. Robert. Aggressive, I like that. Mean it? Did you bring the eclairs? Double dipped. Oh. <laughs> there. Two grand. It's not five, but it's a start. All you have to do is to get us home at the end of the day. Which it's easier said than done, considering this bunch. All right. Half now. The other half of you succeed. No problem. All right, everybody. Let's get stupid! Oxy, who wants an oxy? Ecstasy! Ecstasy, fine. <laughs> Wish we brought a stripper. <laughs> what about the whippersnapper? Griffin's a straight man, that's all. You keep your hands to yourself, Enid. Oh. 
I'll strip for you. Proof of life! Mr. Jenkins needs her help to the can. No way. I'll throw in an extra thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> I'm shitting. I'm shitting. Pull your shorts down at least! sat through my act yet. I trust it's gonna be funnier than that. Nervous? What? No. Got my body armor on for that extra boost of courage. Ah, Impervious to your acid tongue and anybody else's tonight. And we're back, folks. The new jeans, or did you do a line of coke for the occasion? No. Give it up for Blair Tingley. Holy shit. I think I might have just shit my thong. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I gotta do this. Wish me luck. Uh, I think I'll die up there. Don't worry, the only thing you have to lose is your virginity.
Uh, thanks. You know, if I was blind, I'd probably think that somebody dropped a couple of chopsticks listening to that crappy welcome you gave me. Yeah, yeah, I wish I were Ray Charles eating an egg roll right now. Is it just me, or has bullying gotten way out of control? Hands up if you've been bullied. Pussies. Especially you. <laughs> bullying used to be cool, you remember? Four eyes. Yeah, you. All harmless fun, right? Now it's all. I'm gonna kill every last one of you bastards with my semi-automatic that I got at the mall. And those are the ones getting bullied. They're the problem. <laughs> you ever hear of a bully going Columbine? No! <laughs> but what about ghost bullies? You know? The ones that haunt you? Got this friend. He's currently being tortured by this guy that used to bully him back in high school. Seriously, 22 years later, and it's the same guy. <laughs> it's wrong to say, but part of me kind of admires it. I mean, 22 years. That's commitment. That's a relationship. Most people can't stay married half that long. But the worst part is how my friend takes it. If anything, getting screwed for the majority of his adult life has just made him more polite at taking it up the ass. You know, it's... Oh! Come on! <laughs> Give me your lunch money! Uh, oh, oh! Oh! Oh, yeah! Okay! Is there any, anything else you need? Mm. How about my integrity? Maybe my self-respect? Thanks, guys. That's, that's my time. Thanks. Larry Tingley, everybody. Great set, man. Oh, hey, thanks. Woo! I'm glad that's over. Man, it took all my balls and most of my dick to get up there and do that. Even if I sucked a pat on the back or something, it'd be nice. Stab in the back would be more appropriate. I gotta go. So, your precious ego took a bit of a beating, did it? I can't believe it'd do that to me now. I'm about to lose everything. <sighs> you dish that kind of stuff off of Blair all the time. Not in front of other people. <sighs> you and the geeks at the store don't count. Well then stop whining about it and get it over with. Call up your friend and tell him you want to break up. Go on. A good friend is really hard to find. Griffin, most people never do. But when you do find one, you gotta work like hell to hang on to him. No matter what kind of piddly shit gets in the way. So you got piddly. Big deal. Clear the air with your friend while you got the chance. Hey. Hey. Got the car back. Sold everything I owned on eBay. I thought you said losing the cart was a sign. I figured your sausage handling days were over. I gotta save up for my ticket. Ticket? For what? I'm moving to Montreal, poop. I'm gonna try over just for laughs. Gags? You did one shitty open mic. Shouldn't you try Summerside first? Come on. Have a nice life, Cooperman. Jeez, Blair, you were good. Bravo. You don't think you're going to make it in Montreal, do you? And it's not about making it. It's about actually trying something for once. I guess you wouldn't know anything about that. Nice. Blow the belt. But you would only kick a man when he's down. Well, just because you're too scared to take a stand doesn't mean that I can't. Call me when you're depressed and destitute in a couple of weeks.
Well, that went swimmingly. Stealthful boa constricts sloth den. Midnight tonight, the sun sets on Nerd Sanctuary. Unless it's a pile of smoldering ash by then. Oh, you wouldn't want to do that. Guess who just called me wanting to put a house on the market? ASAP. Little Frankie Harris. And he said, oh, evict that sick, fat bastard that's been leeching off his mother? So since you don't have a lease to protect you there, I guess you'll be sleeping in the store. Well, until midnight tonight. This means that's it for us, right? Yeah. You're gonna do great things, Cooperman. Do we get to make out now? Oh, uh, you guys open? Uh, uh. Dartmouth? Yes, sir. All good. This is my first time on a bus. Yeah, mine too. Really? But you're all grown up. Well, that's up for debate. What superhero are you? Oh, uh... Cooperman? Boing used to be cool, you remember? Four eyes. Yeah, you. All harmless fun, right? Now it's all. I'm gonna kill every last one of you back. My semi automatic that I got. All aboard, folks. Back! Whoa, easy, fella. Easy. Help! 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 Help!
used to stop the bus maniac. My face? <laughs> That's actually a karate technique. One that I teach at my dojo, Troy Frizzle's combat art and real estate. How does it feel to be a hero? It hurts. Speaking of saving the day, I too have decided to make a sacrifice. I'm gonna wave Griffin's background so we can keep his wonderful store open and continue to serve our great community. So how does it feel to be a hero, big guy? Pretty awesome. And if you want to feel like an awesome hero, come on down to Troy Frizzle's combat art and real estate. That's a pretty wicked scar, Coop. It's pretty epic. Well, we have a surprise for you. Superman! <laughs> Too soon. You all right, Coop? You came back. Of course. I came as soon as I heard. Okay. It just sounded kind of weird. Come on. Let's get out of here. So I gotta ask. Were you wearing it? Made for an awkward trip to the hospital. <laughs> eh, at least you had clean underwear on. Oh, they weren't clean. <laughs> <laughs>